Look at that big, beautiful gun. So big, so beautiful, shoots terrible. But back out here, got some different targets for the 8mm. We're going to be demonstrating the power of the 8mm. I got a whole stripper clip of blue tips here. And then these are some full metal jackets. This is old FN AP ammo. This is SMK ammo from 1941 Germany. So the bad guys are using this stuff. It is armor piercing tracer, I do believe. Uh, so we have the lead block, we got an aluminum block, and we got a steel plate from John from LA211. So we're going to be testing this out, just have a little fun, see what this 8mm stuff can do. I really want to see what these blue tips and AP does. I, I, I want to see what happens here. So let's get started. Okay, so I moved the target back here a little bit because being 8 millimeter, this guy's a little more, little bit more power, so I'm increasing the distance so I don't get sniped myself, I guess. So we got the aluminum block up there first before we get to the lead. We're just going to do a control test here. This is just a full metal. Well, it's a steel core, but it's like soft steel. They don't penetrate that good. So let's see see what it does to the aluminum block. So I was going to set the table up, and the amount of spiders I see, I'm like, fuck that. So, we hit awfully, else on here. <clears throat> we hit awfully close to where the 300 hit. You see, it went in there pretty deep. I mean, that's at least an inch, inch and a quarter deep in there. You can't see because of the sun there. But So, we will try to put a uh, green tip right in here. Okay, next up, we got an 8mm green tip. This is FN ammo from 1938. There's no way you should be shooting these things. <laughs> I shoot them all the time. It's 50-50 if they go off or not. So it might take a couple pulls to trigger, but we'll get that thing. Let's see what it does. Okay, I think the ammo is hitting high because it hit high. And then I tried another shot off camera. I aimed lower, it's, it's still one over it. So we're just gonna take it for what it is because I only have a couple left for the lead and stuff. So uh, yeah, it dug in there and just ripped the top of that out. So very powerful stuff, very powerful. Let's try a blue tip on this thing. I got a few of them. Let's try that and then we'll get into the lead block. Okay, this is an eight millimeter blue tip incendiary. Let's see what it does that bad. This, I moved you guys back so Maybe you can get a, I'll try to aim up a little bit so you can get a, just see how big it actually is. Dude, why is it every time I come in the woods, just one fucking fly? Hopefully you guys seen that, uh, smoke ring that was the most perfect smoke ring i've ever seen the bullet went high but i got her in there went straight in exploded all the energy came out that hole and blew a perfect smoke ring so it went in deep and exploded i'm trying to see if i can see in there so let's see what a blue tip does to the lead block this time next up we got another blue tip it don't look seated a little deep yeah it's fine fuck it uh, blue tip, 8mm versus lead block. Let's get into it. So maybe the secret is to seat the bolt a little deeper because that one actually hit right where I was aiming. I was aiming low because it was hitting high. And it hit. That was actually a really good hit because it just just folded that lead good like three inches probably it's kind of hard to tell but yeah she hit hard man she she she'd be kicking all right guys i'm just gonna end the video off here because that freaking green tip man like it was it shot low right where i was aiming i was like all right i'll hold it like i've been holding because it seemed like we were shooting good i was like i'll aim right here in a fucker shot high again so i was like you know what i'm just gonna call it there because because i got other cool stuff coming in and we will be shooting more of these targets for sure. If you have any other ideas, 
let me know you can see that yeah that it's like oh, it's frustrating frustrating i mean in the defense every bullet went off the first pull to trigger from 1938 so i mean i little upsetting this doesn't shoot the best but the gun's from probably 1938 also i mean she's pretty shot out but thanks for watching guys stay tuned because i got a bunch more stuff coming up catch you next time